What's going on guys? John Alder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to add a delete button to our shopping cart for our e-commerce app with Django and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to add the ability to delete things from our shopping cart. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime memberships, all my courses, videos, and books for one-time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in this video, we're going to add a delete button to our shopping cart summary page. So in the last video, we added the ability to update our shopping cart. In this video, we're just going to add the ability to remove things from the cart. So obviously something we want to do, very similar to update, a little bit easier. So it shouldn't take all that long. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Django e-commerce series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I'm going to come over here to my cart summary page and let's scroll down to where we put the button in the last video, that update button right here. And I'm just going to copy this and we're going to create a second button next to it. And again, we want this data index with the product ID so we know which button we're clicking, right? And instead of it saying update, we want it to say, say remove or remove item. Eh, remove is probably fine. And But instead of BTN secondary, I want this to be BTN danger. In Bootstrap, that makes a button red. So we want a red button there. And in our class here, instead of calling update cart, we don't want to update the cart. Obviously, we want to remove or delete an item from the cart. So let's say delete um, what product or <laughs> something like that. Really doesn't matter what you call this. We're just going to reference this later on in the JavaScript down below in the Ajax section. So let's go ahead and save this. Head back over to our website. Hit reload, and we've got this nice button. It says remove. That looks pretty good. It's red like danger, you know, don't remove unless you're sure that sort of thing. And that looks good. So now let's come down here. And remember, this is delete dash product, we're going to need that in a minute. But in the last video, we wrote all this code to let me comment update cart. In this video, we're going to just copy all of this. And we're going to create a second function. So down here, I'm just going to print this again, instead of update cart, let's say delete item from cart, instead of calling dot update cart, we're calling delete dash product. Because delete dash product is what we named it on the button right here, delete dash product. Again, we're going to grab the product ID. Um, I guess we probably really don't need to do that. So I can comment this out or just take it out. So as we come through here, again, we're going to post and now what URL are we going to point this to? Well, we don't want to point it to cart update because we're not updating. And if we go to our URLs.py file, we have this delete with this cart delete view. So we want to point to that cart delete view. So instead of cart update, let's get rid of that. And let's put in cart underscore delete. Uh, we don't need the quantity because if we're deleting the thing, we're going to delete all of the things. So it really doesn't matter. So we could take that out. And the product ID is what we're passing. And that's just this dot data and then the index because again, if you're not familiar with this, go watch the video from last week, we went through all this data index is going to pass a product ID, the product ID is the product ID. So that's how we know which one to delete. And we're just passing that as product ID to our cart delete view. So really that's all there is to it. On success, we'll just reload the page again. And that should be good. So let's go ahead and save this. Now, again, our URLs.py file, we have this cart underscore delete view. So now we need to mess around with that. So let's go to our views.py file. And we've already added this, we just haven't actually done anything with it. So there we go. We can kind of grab all of this stuff from the last video, we want an instance of our cart, we want to grab whatever po was posted by clicking that button. And again, that's just our product ID right there. But now let's call delete function in our cart. Let's call cart dot delete. And we need to pass in the product, which is whatever this product ID just happens to be. So there we go. And if we want to get fancy, we can come down here and grab all of this stuff. And just you know, to return something to the page, we'll return that response. Uh, we don't actually have a quantity. So instead, let's pass um, product, <laughs> which is going to be our product ID, whatever, we really don't have to do this. But 
I've just been doing it. So we're just going to continue doing it. All right. So now we're calling this cart delete function and we're passing in the product ID. If we go to our cart, which is our main cart thing. So let's go to our cart.py file, make sure this file is saved. And there we go. And if we look through here, we don't yet have a cart delete function. So let's make one. Let's go define delete. We want to pass in self and we also want to pass in the product as you would expect. So let's get our product ID. So let's go product ID and let's make sure this is a string and we want to pass in whatever that product is. Why do we want this to be a string? Well, for some reason or another, when we created our cookie session thing, remember it's like four colon three and then like uh, two colon one. So this first thing is a string. That's our product ID number in the shopping cart. So we want this to be a string too. So we don't need that. There we go. And the second item here, the value is the number of items in the cart. So this is like book four, intro to Python programming, and we have three of them. This is book two, intro to tkinter or whatever, and we have one of them, right? So I will turn this into a string so that we can delete that string item. If this is our cart and we know what product we're trying to delete, all we have to do is update this Python dictionary and remove whatever item. And we do that just using regular Python, right? So uh, let's say uh, delete from dictionary slash cart. And to do that, let's create an if statement. So if, and let's say product underscore ID is in self.cart, Right. So make sure it's in there. Right. For some reason, we didn't pass something that's actually not in the card. I'm not really sure how we would do that, but maybe some hacker would try and do it or something. Uh, but this will just test to make sure that product is in the cart. And if it is, we just call the delete function. And then what do we want to delete? Well, self dot cart. And then the key value pair uh, would just be the product underscore ID that will say, hey, if this four is in here, delete four product ID four. And that's really kind of all there is to it, right? So we don't need this. And then we're doing something to our session. So now let's go self dot session dot modified equals true. And we've done this other times as well, sort of save our session after we've modified it, set it to true to, to let the program know, hey, yeah, we did actually modify this thing. And that's kind of all there is to it. So let's head back over here and let's give this a try. We got Python programming in here. Let's click remove and boom, it disappears up here. This is updated. Now there's only one thing in our cart. If we want to play with this, let's make it five. Okay. Sure enough. If we leave and then come back still five, if we want to remove this, boom, remove, there's nothing in your cart it says zero up here. That looks good. Uh, let's add this guy. Let's add five of him. And sure enough, there it is. And we can remove it again. It's removed and piece of cake. So I'm going to go ahead and add five of these and add say three of these just for fun. And you know what? <laughs> let's add one of these guys down here. We never had these guys. Uh, let's add four of him. All right. Looking good. If we want to remove this guy, boom, just like that. So updating the cart was a lot more difficult than deleting it. Once we understand how to update, deleting it is relatively simple. And that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 180,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.